Depressed, anxious, lonely. Does that describe you right now? Are you down? Are you lonely? Are you feeling like you're the only one or nobody cares about you? You're not alone. In fact, thousands of people feel the same way as you right now. So this is not about making you feel worse. Not at all. In fact, I, I want to bring a little bit of normalcy, if you will, to how you're feeling because it's not uncommon, it's not unusual, it's not that you're crazy, it's not because there's something wrong with you, but it's because you're struggling for whatever reason, whatever. I don't know what you're struggling with. I don't know what's making you depressed or anxious. Or lonely I don't know but I do know that when you are feeling that way we tend to feed it and here's what I mean by that so if you're feeling down and you kind of fill in the blanks we you tend to feed into uh, this negative cycle don't you it's the inner critic the way I call it and that inner critic keeps hounding you and convincing you and you start to believe it that you're worthless, that nobody cares about you, that you're insignificant in some way. It convinces you as you look at other people that they have a better life than you, that they are not as poor as you or not as whatever as you you fill in the blank and it's easy to look at the outside it's easy to allow other things to influence us to um, to cloud our judgment of ourselves and I know that if you're struggling right now it could be a relationship, it could be your job loss, it could be finances, it could be your kids, it could be your spouse, it could be a number of things that you are struggling with right now. And I'm sure you have in your mind, right, that those negative thoughts that go round and around and around. I'm worthless, I'm nobody, I shouldn't have done this, I should have done this. What's wrong with me? Felt that way? And so I, I want to bring some encouragement to you. One, that the only thing that's wrong with you is your struggle. It doesn't have anything to do with who you are. It doesn't have anything to do with your identity as a person. It has everything to do with your mind. And for whatever reason, your mind, your brain is off kilter just a little bit. It's not getting the nourishment that it needs. Doesn't mean you're crazy, doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It just means that what what is there? What is in your life right now that's making you feel that way? Hey, we're all human. You're a human being. You have feelings, you have emotions. And right now you're on the downhill, on the downward spiral of those emotions. And it's hard, isn't it? It really is. And I want to, really the only thing I want to do right now, because you're watching this and I'm sure you're feeling this way, I want to help you uh, and, and not to make you feel guilty, not to make you feel shame, because you're already doing that, aren't you? You're already making, feeling guilty. You're already feeling ashamed of how you're feeling. And you might feel like you're letting other people down. It could be a friend, it could be your parents, it could be a spouse, your kids, and your depression, your anxiety, your loneliness is getting the best of you and it's clouding or getting in the way of your relationships. And I want to encourage you first, don't beat yourself up. Allow yourself to experience those emotions. Now I get it, I understand. You're saying, what? I don't want to experience these emotions. I want to get rid of them. Okay, I understand that. But at the same time, you have to accept them 
And then as you accept them, you don't have to like them, but accept them, then you can start working on them. It's when you spend all of your emotional energy on, I've got to get rid of this. This is horrible. I just got, it, it gets in the way. It gets in the way of you really working on feeling better. Because it, it's that negative thought. So it goes around and around. I feel terrible. There's something wrong with me. I want to get rid of this. This is painful. And it goes around and around. And it makes it worse. And you start to dig yourself even deeper into that hole. And so I want to encourage you. Yes, you feel bad. I get it. But at the same time, say to yourself or believe to yourself that it's not okay, but you have to accept it. And then once you accept it, you wake up every day, you feel like really bad. You accept it. Okay, I have this. Then you can say, now what? What can I do now? What are things that I can do? But the, really the first step is you have to admit it. You have to accept it. You have to realize that maybe you are indeed depressed. Maybe people around your life has said, hey, I think you're depressed. And you're saying, no, I'm not depressed. I'm just down. I'm just a little gloomy today. And it becomes every day you're feeling that way. So maybe you are depressed and so maybe you do need to admit that, or maybe you do need to realize, hey, this is more than just worry. This is anxiety and it's affecting me. So you have to name it. You have to say and admit to yourself what it is. There's no shame in it. And that's really what I want you to take away from this. There is no shame. I don't want you to feel shame, but you can identify it. Then you have to accept it and then you have to work on it. And so I would encourage you to, after you watch this video, go to my next other video that I'm talking about five routines, daily routines to work on you, to work on your emotions. But the very first thing you have to do is realize and admit to yourself that you need the help. And so that's what I want you to do. Encourage you not to shame you, not to make you feel guilty, but to allow you to be human for you to admit that your struggle might be more than you realize or want to admit, but you have to come to that realization. You have to admit it and then be able to move on. But if you can't admit it, if you're still hanging on and say, no, this, got, this can't be. And if you're still hanging on to that and you're resisting the fact that you might be depressed or you might be anxious, then you're not going to get better. You've got to come to the place in your life where you admit it. Okay, I really think I'm depressed now. Or, yeah, I, I probably am anxious and have anxiety. So when you admit that and when you release that shame and release that, that guilt that you have this struggle, then you can start healing from it. And that's what I want you to do. Will you do that for me? Come to a place in your life right now to admit that you're depressed or to admit that you're anxious and that there's nothing wrong with you. You're not crazy. You're not abnormal and you're not some recluse or you're not a misfit for it. Okay. Can you do that? So also make sure you check out my five daily routines after you admit it what you can do every single day to start feeling better. That's all for now, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.